Yeah, let's press gang them. Welcome back. Oh, look at. Welcome back, regular viewer, loyal subscriber. This is Battletech, the stories of the Hecaton Kires, the Hundred Handed. And, um. Yeah, it was a bit of a chaotic mission last time, purely from the point of view of having mechs ready. So, I've uh, done some moving around of mechs. Um. I'll show you what I've done in just a moment, but uh, I'm going to roll forward until our archer is ready in two weeks' time, um, and then we'll see where we are. But we are still in orbit around uh, Argos, um, and um, we're going to see uh, whether we can do one more mission here before moving on. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. Thanks Farah. Let's come and see what's next in the upgrade list. We've got all of the wreck areas done. Uh, I think we'll probably do uh, this one. It's 130 grand. We've got 4 million. It increases our running costs by 15 grand, but that's really not all very right. much. I'll get the team on it right away. And that should increase the speed of our uh, refurbs and refits. Four more days. Two. Two. Right, and uh, into the command centre. We had an escort mission here, Grand Theft Auto. It's a uh, three and a half skull desert mission. Uh, there's a lot of money involved, so it could be this is going to get really pretty hairy. Um, but we have some allies here, um, including a demolisher, if it's got ammo. So um, we're going to see what we can do, just boosting that up to 418. Even so, we're going to have quite a few um, sea bills on this one. So, uh, we've got all sorts of um, possibilities. So, the archer I've refitted just slightly. Um, I've put the uh, stab damage bonus PPC in the middle rather than extra um, damage um, because this is a stab damage build, uh, stab meaning stability. So the LRM20 gives bonus stability damage, the LRM10 does as well. Um, I've popped a double heat sink in here, in the legs, um, just to improve its heat efficiency somewhat, so um, that should run a little cooler than it, uh, uh, than it did. Um, and I think this is going to be Glitch's ride. Um, and Briarius, the boss, goes into the Highlander. Um, the Highlander, we've outfitted, uh, or we've modified the uh, default. We've taken off the SRM6 um, and popped in uh, an LRM5, um, which is a little augmentation. It's a crit damage build. The LRM20 double plus is more stab damage here. Um, extra LRM ammo. Um, and we've popped in three small lasers into the support slots just for a bit of short range punch uh, if we need to. Um, and we've kept uh, a couple of double heat sinks again in the legs um, but the heat efficiency on this Mac is generally pretty good so um, it will retain its job as long range fire support so we've got the Archer and uh, Carnivale, the Highlander, as fire support so we've got the two uh, mechs that will take point um, and we've got the uh, UAC-10 um, Centurion with uh, medium laser build, plus 5 damage, uh, plus 1 accuracy, plus 25% crit. Um, and the Griffin, um, I have just put uh, the uh, SRM2 plus damage. Um, oh no, that had them previously. It was the. Uh, something. Did I modify the Wolverine? I think I might have modified the Wolverine. Yeah, I did. I've replaced the SRM6s on the Wolverine with some bonus damage ones. Um, so that is now optimised for um, pummeling at short range. Uh, but we'll keep the UAC-10 in this mission. We're at 3.5. It's at 3.5, so uh, hopefully we shouldn't have any problems today. Although escort missions are always a bit dicey. And um, we'll see how it goes in I hope you're doing well. It's very hot here today, um, even though it's in middle September. Uh, 
my wife and I's anniversary is coming up. We'll be 19 years together this year. So next year, special one, 20 years. But given it's lockdown, I have no idea if uh, England is going to go back into full lockdown over the weekend. We might be able to uh, get a meal out together. So, Tory authorities on Argos have taken shipment of military vehicles, including a demolisher. Davian agents have managed to... Oh, it's this map. Fantastic. Okay, not seeing any mech engines, which is multiples in this area. Right, all hell's going to break loose. Right, so this is kind of an open cast mining structure. Um, this is not usual with an open cast mine, and they're using some kind of energy beam to render the rock into slag, and then presumably they they must somehow process that slag to get the metal ore out, but I'm not quite sure how that all works. Because um, it's all futuristic stuff anyway. So let's just uh, sprint the sniper bots up. If we go along the top, we can get down here, I think. Roger. Right, so the archer and the highlander take up a rear position because they're a bit slower. The griffin takes point. Uh, give it a griffin takes point. I'm going to move them up first. Moving out. Any um, signatures? No. Interesting. Uh, Centurion can come down. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep the arch up top. Come on, glitch. I hear ya. Just press the space bar to accelerate through the movement. Uh, you may not know that, maybe. On my way. Right, so we'll bring the Griffin around the corner. Right, so I'm not going to drop straight in there aye, aye. until I've managed to get more of the uh, friendly mechs around. Uh -huh. Just brace the uh, two mechs up front and sprint the other two forwards. And then we'll drop a mech into. Um, which mech are we dropping in? Waiting on you, Commander. We'll just drop the archer in for the moment. On my way. Nothing immediately triggers, so we'll. Um, Just move the griffin up to the uh, factory edge here, in case the enemy appears up on this ridge. Bravo squad, this is Argo Actual, are you ready to move? Roger Argo, the good news is the demolisher is armed, bad news is it needs some serious maintenance, its armour is garbage. In other words, it's a glass cannon, don't count on too much support from it boss, definitely do not let it take any fire. I will see what I can do. What what do we have here? Yeah, of course, so the demolisher takes a point. Smart. How bad is the armour? That is really crap. Well, we've got a manticore. That'll give decent fire support. PPC LRM-10. Got a lone carrier. Good lord, the enemy is in trouble. And a bulldog for kind of... got a large laser, a couple of SRM 4s so none of these support vehicles have anything in the way of uh, defence, so we're going to sprint the 
Centurion up front. And orders. So Briarius, I want you to take the high ground, please. If you can come round this way. I want you to be taking the sniper shots over the wall. And Archer can come forward as well. Right, what do we have? 40 ton. <laughs> Cicada! I mean, it could be a Vulcan or something like that, but... That's 70 ton, huh? Grasshopper, maybe? Right. Good to go. So you can move forward and get a shot on. I'd love for you to be able to see both. I don't know what the shot's going to be like. Now. Let's see what we've got. 2S Archer. Those Lerm 15s are going to be very dangerous for our vehicles. And we've got an Assassin. Those weapons are not particularly dangerous. So, we've got decent armour here. Lerm ammo, I mean this is an ammo box ready to go, so we're just going to fire on this with the UAC-10. Tunner. Punch back. Trebs. Oh, I don't like Lerm barrages. Ow. Well, at least it's shooting at me and not at the uh, lorries. That's yeah. what I'm after. So if we came up there, just be the snub PPC and I can fire. Oh, come on. So you're not in range yet, so I'm going to come up and make myself a real nuisance. Make myself a target. Reduce the ducking and weaving. Plenty of uh, evasion bits. It's not really going to cause me any trouble, is it? Ooh, ace pilot. Good to go. Right, glitch. Any 40s on that, 60s on there, 90s on the Archer, I think the Archer has to be primary target. What's this up here? A C4 Cat. The uh, C4 Catapult, uh, dual M20, small lasers um, in the centre torso and plenty of lerm ammo to go for. Uh, not very much armour in those torsos, so if you can hit one then that's good news. So let's, uh, we'll split fire, where's the best PPC? I've got 60% on the cats. 60% on there. Okay, so let's um, multi-target. We'll PPC the cat hole. We're going to uh, do Trev and the Archer. The See, fire. <clears throat> Good shot. job. So we've got a bit of long range firepower from support lance but not a great deal. Wow. Yeah that was quite punishing wasn't it? Okay here comes the um Highlander. We get some nice shots here. Boo. Right. 
gas rifle, round 5, round 20, that's uh, precision strike. And we're going to go for this guy in the shoulder. Got one of the Lern 15s. on the Allied vehicles and see if uh, they can do anything. The Manticore's got some uh, long range punch. Good stuff. The Lone Carrier. Hold your ears boys, this could get hot. It's going over. He's gone. Right, the demolisher doesn't have the range to hit, I wouldn't have thought. No, okay. Here comes the cat. Is you gonna fire on us or the Hold on. Recording heavy damage. No, you just took it over the limit. Ignored. Well done. All right. Good to go. Let's start splitting these guys up. I can't jump, but I don't need to. So let's move up here. Get shots on there. Uh, you're dead. Perfect. Losing lots of armor. Right. Sorry about that interruption. Uh, where are we? Right. Uh, you better stand up. How's the damage looking? All right. I'm up again. Yeah, let's uh, cut down. Uh, maybe if I jump, I can get somewhere. I can get three pips here. Come on. There, get better shots. The archer's down. Nothing on the assassin, really. If we could just keep the uh, left hand facing. Right, what do we have? I think the Treb is the next uh, next target. He's difficult to hit. He's difficult to hit. Yeah, Treb, I think. We're going to go for a precision strike. So looking at the weapons distribution uh, on the Trebuchet, uh, medium lasers in the arm with one LRM-15. And then we've got the LRM-15 and medium laser in the second arm. There's only LRM ammo in that tool, so in here we've got a bit of grip padding it with the LRM-15. And we don't have ammo in the centre tool, so we're going to be going for this arm to take out most of these weapons. Hopefully. SRM range as well. I think that trebuchet is going to be in a bit of trouble. What can I do for you? Okay. Go. Moving out. Got a bit of everything here. Um, I'm going to hit you with everything I have. And uh, you don't have much in these torsos, and with all of my other ends, I should crit you pretty easily. Got it. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Yeah, I really think you are. In fact, the Manticore may well be able to finish you off. Here. She does with the plomb. Well done, chap. 
Right, Harnada, keep making your moves forward. Got decent shots on here. Um, let's see if I can put a hole in the. Uh, Jump ship, but not the ammo. Critical damage detected. No shot from the demolisher. Here it comes. Knock him over at least. Ow. No crits, unusual. That go internal. The shield torso. Yeah, I'd prefer not to lose that if I could avoid it, but um, not always possible. Heading out. Right. You act precision strike uh, into the head, please. Assassin's nice, but just too weak to stand that close to an enemy. Standing by. Right. Where would you not like to be hit? Well, either of the torsos, really. Let's just take this one off. All of his uh, LRM sorted. What we call knocking the ears off. That was brutal, Bulldog. Well done. At least just the assassin. Waiting for orders. So glitch. If you can just uh, finish him Got off, it. that'd be useful. Uh, yeah, hold the big scene. Might as well go for a headshot. I've got an intercept system. Interesting. Don't know what that is, but. Another head hit. That pilot's taking a real battering. Briaris. if we can uh, take the head off. School zone. Okay. Hello, cats. On my way. You betcha. Nice to see you. Right, do you mind? I'm streaming here, you just don't care, do you? You just want to fuss. Right, where do I want to be? I think over here. Just split it up. Now I seem to remember enemies appearing over in this direction. 
It could be I've got my angles wrong. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Move your tail out of the way. Oh, now you're bumping on the microphone. Oh dear. You're all over the place, aren't you? going. Um, just going to have to use my uh, jump jets to move up a little bit. Engaging jump jets. It's just getting cover up here, isn't it? On my way. I'm just going to hang behind a little bit just for escort purposes. Can't proceed without your battle max. Look, for heaven's sake. I'm waiting for your guys to catch up. And plus, I'm ahead of you, so. You know. I hear ya. I read you, Commander. Thanks, Cat, that is really useful. Flopping on the keyboard. Darth Tapeth. I need. Right. Cover up here and um, wait. Position confirmed. Brace. Confirmed. Holding. Come on, guys. Now the demolisher is the slow one. Right, brace, brace, brace. Engaging coolant system. Walk. You betcha. I don't know who you are, power down those vehicles and surrender, I will turn you, them and you into scrap. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Okay, what do we have here? Thunderbolt. So the enemy's going to be. Oh, cranky, don't get a move. It doesn't look like that, too. Okay. Standing by. Right, uh, it's my left hand side that's damaged, but so is my right arm, so I really don't want to be facing the enemy with that. Uh, that hot vigilance on. Right, what can I shoot? Centurion is a good target, but not a brilliant target. It does have large laser in its right arm, um, but it's not like the AC-10. Uh, the Crab, got a head-on shot there. No ammo in there. Thunderbolt 5 SE. Uh, there I want to be going for the centre torso. We've got the 5 SE as well. Again, that right-hand shot, not as useful as large laser in there. Um, I think... Let's 720. Who's got the least armor? Let's see if we can take the crab out before the others. Damn, missed with the second new act shot. Frustrating. Alright, do some. Can't stay in cover and get behind you, so I'm just going to have to come forward again. I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to prioritise vigilance here, and um, head hits one. Good shots. Bulldog's doing work, man. Damage minimal. Alright. What can I do for you? 
Well, what I'd like you to do, Glitch, is move forward and do fire support, TM. Uh -huh. Right, who can you see? Plenty of shots there, I'll probably get a DPC shot off as well. Uh, there's the crab, it's on the left hand side. Not great shots, honestly. Let's start working on that T bomb. I should have paid attention to whether they were in cover or guarded, I didn't. My mistake. have a problem with you targeting the Highlander. I can I can Highlander smash some someone. Would that be fun? I think I might be able to jump in there. I can't go ahead and jump into um, forest there. And I would probably destroy both of my legs although I've got lots of armour. Let's see if we could um, Hilariously DFA the. Uh... Come on, we've just got to have a bit of fun with the Highlander. I mean, the fact that the Thunderbolt looks so titchy compared to the Highlander is just amusing. having a bad day. Couple of shots in the back. It's always nice to do. Uh, let's have a look at him. How bad is it? 36 in there, 26 in there. He's nearly lost both tools. So, so this is uh, Medusa's speciality, isn't it? is to step forward and given that he's on the ground um, just pick a torso and fire. Gone. Gone E. Right. Play him off. Ready for orders. Get a rear shot on this guy. Moving out. I think that is a must. Uh, precision strike. This chap in the back. Get his ammo. That's pro gaming. Oh, look out! Ow! Dare you? At least I made sure I was in forest, so. Waiting on you, Commander. Right, I'm getting a side shot there rather than the rear shot. Can I get a rear shot there? No, still side. Oh, no, let's just come on through. My way. Let's have a look what we got. Um, right. Precision strike on the crab. In that torso, let's go. Let's take one of the large aces out. And Briarius. I've really screwed up. I lost nearly a hundred damage on that leg. Just by jumping. DFAs are just a nightmare. I've got to have the uh, the uh, leg modules if I'm going to be doing that more regularly. Right, I think I'm going to need to split my fire here. 
So my long range weapons are much better against the crab. Uh, got plenty of heat capacity. Alright, let's do that. Opened up his back. Guys, get in the hex. Oh, put your head. Weeks. Yeah. That didn't work, did it? <laughs> okay. Ow! You love your melee, don't you? Shield arm side, but I'm not bothered by yep. it. Right. Get right up in his grill. Coolant vents. It's blasted free on at him. Look, he's covered in stuff. <laughs> Taking a lot of battering. Waiting for orders. So I've only got indirect fire on him. Surely there's a, a direct fire place I can go to. Yeah, up here. Don't need to tell me twice. But in fact, that time I did because my mouse button's not working very well. Um, head. Take the BPT off. Maybe take the other attempt. Yeah, that'll do. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. He's gone. Yes, he's gone. Ooh ah, ooh ah. I got to learn how to face. He's gone, gone. Oh ah. Oh, uh, take the gavel to replace it. Dead right there. You've wiped the op for out. Mission successful. Fantastic. There we go. Mission done. Cat snoozing on my laptop. Yeah. Right, half a million sea bills. We took some internal damage. And uh, nobody got injured because um, Behemoth found a cockpit mod. Right, we can finish an archer. That's always worthwhile. Um, I'll take a bit of crab, take us up to four out of five. Um, and then the heaviest thing we've got here is a uh, thunderbolt piece. Um, which I'll take, unless there's a special weapon. Ooh. Now, I like both of these. I think I'm going to drop that back. Let's have a look at the equipment again. Got a double plus R mod, a cockpit mod, a gyro. Not a good one, though. Okay. So I won't take the gyro, although it's probably the most valuable thing here. Uh, I'll take the cockpit mod. So that's always welcome. How much is this worth? 300 grand. It's not that special. Let's see what I get. Okay, we do get a bit of Thunderbolt anyway. Loads of junk. Stick it in the Argo! Right. 
Making GFA attacks will damage your mech's legs, make it unstable. <laughs> You're not using it, you never use DFA carefully. Right. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've got to put somebody in the... Um, uh, we haven't used this Griffin for a long time. In fact, we're not going to use this Vindicator either. Let's put the Vindicator into storage. And uh, go to the Mac Bay and have a look at the uh, the damage. This can be repaired. 15 grand is not very much. 5 grand just for doing a DFA. Okay. That's cool. This archer is probably a better platform than this for missiling because it's got four missile slots rather than two. Um, but we might just want to keep that as a backup to the uh, to the two R, vice versa. I'll kit that out next time, uh, but I won't worry about it right now. I hope you enjoyed that mission. I did, and uh, see you next time as we make our way towards Worldry, meeting with Lady Centrella for the next story mission. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.